What's poppin' to you, Jim Unbox? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough of the exterior and interior of the 2023 Hyundai Elantra. Unlike any other reviews that I will be doing on this channel about cars in the future, this is my personal car. I picked this up about two weeks ago. This is the 2023 Hyundai Elantra SEL Convenience. I'm first gonna show you this in the shade and then I'll pull it out into the sunlight so you're able to take a different look at it. I did do a couple aesthetic modifications. I put a little badge cover on this just so it's blacked out. Originally this comes chrome. This is what the front grill looks like on the SEL Convenience. This is used as the radar dish for the automatic stop go cruise control which is extremely helpful and really cool when you're driving. I'll be showing all the tech features in an upcoming video, so make sure you subscribe and check out for that. These are your headlights stock from the factory. They come as incandescents in the SEL model. However, there is a LED daytime running light strip and it is separated into these two segments and it looks really awesome during the day and also at night when the headlights are on. There are so many different shapes and curves on this car. You can see right here, this is a pass through for air and it is actually functional. So air does go through that while you're driving into the wheels. On the brand new 2023 models, the SEL Convenience comes with 17 inch sport rims. In the past two models, the 2021 and the 2022, these were actually blacked out rims and they did not look like this. I'm happy I was able to get these ones because they absolutely look awesome. Moving on to the side of the car, these are the paint match side mirrors. Um, there are no LED functions like the turn signals in this model that only comes on the limited and the end line. However, there is a blind spot indicator on the side. I also added a blind spot mirror and I'll talk about that in a couple minutes once we're on the inside of the cabin and why I put that on. On the side, there are little buttons and this is how you unlock and lock your car with your key. Hitting it one time will lock it, and to unlock it, you have to hit it again, and now it's unlocked. On all my other Volkswagens that I have and my family has, it's kind of nice that you're able to put your hand under and it automatically knows when you're unlocking it, and then there's no button, you just tap the side and it locks it. So that's something I wish Hyundai was able to add, but unfortunately it does not have that, it just has that single button. So it can be a little confusing when you don't know if the car is locked or not. Looking at the side of this vehicle, once I pull it out in the sun, you're able to see the lines a lot better, but it looks absolutely amazing. It is such a unique body shape. There are multiple curves and angles that go together right in the front part. So let's go around the other side and hopefully we'll be able to take a look at that. Oh, it looks absolutely amazing, like a diamond or something that was cut from the earth. It's, it's really cool. Going around to the back, which is honestly one of my favorite spots, it looks so amazing. Unfortunately, there are a lot of water spots. I got the 2023 in black the inside and the outside, which is really prone to water spots. I actually just washed this earlier today and it still has water spots, so I'll be having to take a second chance at that. These are what the turn signal look like and the brake lights. Unfortunately, they are all halogen lights. Even the third light right up here, this is a halogen. However, I will be replacing those in the near future. I did already do an upgrade on this car, which you can check out on my channel, TJM Unbox. I did replace this middle bar with an LED full bar like the Limited and the N-Line have. So make sure you check out that video that does not come stock. Elantra is spelled out in this chrome text. I did black out the badge in the back as well. You can also see the little camera right there. That is your backup camera. Another unfortunate thing about this car is there are no backup sensors on this model, which I wish they had. I like when you're backing up, when you know how close you are with something uh, and it makes that little chime. Unfortunately, it did not have that. Another thing I absolutely love about this car is the way that it is sloped in the back. You can see that it is, looks more like a sport hatchback. This really pulls a lot from the Audi A7. It definitely looks like it's a sport hatchback. And again, this is what the back of the car looks like. Absolutely awesome. That is one of the reasons I bought this over a Honda Civic, just with the shape of this car. Make sure you subscribe because I will be doing a driving with this car in the near future, showing you the speed and the power. I just put on 500 miles literally today while I was driving to film. So let's unlock it. And now it is unlocked. So let me show you the interior. It is a little bit dirty. Again, I have been driving this for about two weeks. I did also install some lights in here, but this is what the side of the car looks like. With the SEL convenience, you actually have a full digital display cluster, which is super awesome. Let me hop into the car and show you guys what it looks like. So it does a little bit of a startup menu. Let me turn on the car at least. 
so we get some AC in here. It is really hot. I'm just gonna roll down the windows actually so we don't have the noise. But your display cluster is right there. It also has a brand new 10 inch display on the 2021 and 2022 models on the SEL convenience. You actually have a smaller display, but since this is a new model, they actually made it the full 10 inch display and it looks really cool. It's currently 333 while I'm filming this video. There are so many settings you're able to change in this car between the driving modes, the way that the car interacts, the noises it makes. It's honestly more customizable than my brother's 2017 Audi A4 Prestige, which is surprising. Uh, one funny thing is you can actually change the intervals that it clicks when you pull down the turn signal. When you do a single click, you can change it between going like three, five or seven different turns. It's kind of funny that they allow you to customize that, but it's really cool if you're really picky on how you drive. There are a bunch of things you can change. When we're looking on the inside of this car, they honestly made it look like a cockpit having this little handrail. Um, I was really concerned that my passengers wouldn't like it. I asked my girlfriend like a thousand times if she liked it or not. And she said it wasn't really a problem. Uh, my brother didn't really think it's a problem. I guess I was a little bit worried about that because you obviously look really driver focused um, and it might not be the best for a passenger when you're driving with them. But you know, if you're driving with someone a lot, you might wanna ask them what they think about it before you buy it. Another really cool thing about this is that handles for opening your door are very, very low. Normally it would be about this level while you're getting out of the car, uh, but they actually have it so that they're really low and they're a nice premium opening door. Well, one thing I always like to check on doors is how it sounds when you close it. On one of our oldest cars that our family had, it was a Jetta and the doors were so tinny, you're able to hear it. It sounds like metal when you're closing it. So let's do that quick test. I'm gonna kind of slam it shut and we're gonna hear how it sounds. Okay, that was definitely solid. That is a weird test, but it kind of shows how premium and how the quality is built. If it's a very thin door, noise is gonna go through while you're driving, but when it's a bit thicker and has that mass to it, it tends to help when you're driving with noise. Another modification I did to this car was adding carbon fiber to some of these spots. I found a pack of this on eBay um, and it was all custom fit for the car. This handrail turned into carbon fiber. Right here turned into carbon fiber. I love the way that the vents look in this car. Although the middle does not work, there's like no function, it's just blocked out, but it's just all continuous. Um, a lot of newer cars and a lot of luxury cars have been doing that for a while. Now I do wanna talk about one thing with the interior. One thing I was worried about was how the audio sounded. I was really worried that the speakers wouldn't be the best because with the limited edition and the end line, you actually have Bose speakers. And I was really wanting that because I thought that would be the best audio. And I was worried that the standard audio in this model and the SE model wouldn't be that good. But I will tell you, it actually sounds pretty solid, like surprisingly good. It's really crisp. Even when it's higher and louder, it still sounds really crisp. So I really appreciate that. I will be doing a test of the audio in an upcoming video. I apologize that I keep saying that, but this this video is just supposed to be a basic walkthrough and in an upcoming video that's where it's going to be way more specific on features so you have to subscribe and look out for that just because there's so many things that i have to talk about i really needed to be organized this is just a general impression and these are what the back seats look like i really haven't had any people in the back seats yet but they look really roomy I've sat back there a little bit when I first got the car and the seats are really comfortable, same as these. However, one thing being said, they are not ventilated, so it can get a little bit hot while you're driving for a while, but that's to be expected at this price range. One unfortunate thing with everything in this car is they all come with incandescent lighting, which I don't really like. However, I have started to replace them just like this one right here. This is now LED, I replaced that. So yeah, I wish I wish these things started coming with LEDs, you know, we should really get rid of these incandescent lights. Uh, and now going on to why I added these blind spot mirrors. So in this car, the, it, it's, I'm coming from a Volkswagen, so my, my old Passat, which is the one I had, it, it was a wire car, so I was able to see more and I was used to seeing more. And it's more of a compact car, it's a little bit harder to see just with the way that the pillars are made. So this pillar can be kind of annoying when you're pulling up to an intersection. Uh, no matter how fast you're going, it kind of seems like people and objects can get stuck. So you kind of have to like lift your body up and look around and make sure that no one's there. Same with this pillar right here. It can be a little bit annoying when you're driving, but overall it's pretty nice. But these little blind spot mirrors help so much. See like the difference of what you're able to see right here. You're not able to see the truck, but when you look in the blind spot mirror, there is a truck right there. So it just helps for parking as well since you don't have those backup sensors. So I'm gonna drive this car out into the sunlight so we're able to get a closer look at those angles of it. Uh, and then we'll close off this video for now. Also, I really love the shifter. It's like really wide. This is just like my brother's Audi, 10 out of 10. Okay, so I left the running lights on the car. Uh, you can definitely see how nice it looks. This is the, I think it's phantom black is what this color code is. 
on the new 2023 models. And now you're able to see the diamond shape pattern on this car. Black really hides that look. I think if you had a silver version of this car, it would show more of those curves on the metal. So keep that in mind if you want these diamond shapes to pop. So here's another angle. You can definitely see it now. Uh, it also falls into the back. You can see a lot of these angles. And then again, this is what the back of the car looks like. Absolutely awesome. I love that sporty hatchback style. And uh, this is what the side looks like. Let me know what you guys think and if you're excited for the next video that I will be doing on this car. If you have any questions and other comments, make sure you comment them down below so that I'm able to address them in the upcoming videos. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Peace.